Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Let's Design City Skylines. My name is Victor Stru and we are back at Cedar Valley where we're taking a look at the massive rail yard that we built during the live stream about a week and a half ago. So uh, yeah, I've been, uh, I've been playing a little bit off camera and uh, sorry about no posting videos last week, but uh, I actually have a complete new computer and I had to reinstall everything. So on the bright side, the game runs a lot better. On the dark side, I guess, <laughs> uh, things uh, were a little bit um, crazy during the installation and just uh, today I managed to get uh, the game to record it properly. I'm actually using Bandicam. Uh, where I used to use um, DX Story before, and I just couldn't get it to run without destroying, uh, you know, the trees were, were the thing that were definitely not working with DX Story. I had to just update it to, to a different recording software. But hey, we're back, and the game is just looks a lot nicer now. It just feels uh, a lot more responsive, so hopefully you guys can enjoy the difference as well. And uh, as you can see, I've been uh, spending a lot of time. I don't know if you remember last thing I did during the live stream, I pretty much ended it here, but I went ahead and built uh, a few things off camera. Before I do anything, uh, let me do a bit of a tour of what we actually did during the live stream. So if you don't want to see spoilers, I guess you already kind of saw some spoilers, but if you want to see how I built this whole area uh, together with this interchange and this uh, dock right here, there's a link in the description of this video that will lead you to the full think four and a half hours on cut uh, live stream it's uh it's kind of a long one but uh it's a lot of fun and you can see me how i just destroy the city many many times over uh what i mean by that is that i left the simulation running and they didn't have any power so at some point in the game all the buildings here were completely gone but now now we're starting to have some uh, sky rises here which is kind of interesting this is a this is the first the city so that's exciting another problem that i was having is i uh, right now i had to disable the unlimited tree mod because well the trees right here these are these are a good example i demolished this trees like five thousand million times and until i disable that mod also these trees over here until i disable the mod they would just keep appearing even though i would save the game with the trees deleted uh, there's definitely a bug with that. I need to try a solution that was sent to me by uh, Flux, who someone on the from the community sent him sent him that. It's I don't know. It's some like random script. It's up on GitHub. I need to check it out. But uh, hopefully that will get uh, the tree issues. Uh, what's happening is that some of these trees are being like doubled and tripled in some cases. So now that I disabled the uh, tree mod. Everything seems to be working okay. I did some um, continuing with what I did off camera. I pretty much uh, extended our harbor over here. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit so you can take a look. Uh, we're going to be focusing uh, on this area in this episode, so I'm not going to go into great details about it. But uh, going back, yeah, so I added a few trees here and there. This is our Kurt and Screen facility which uh, belongs to the um, to this sort of uh, water treatment plant. That's It's uh, basically a companion of this. Same problem over here, by the way. We have some trees growing inside of our tanks. Um, I had to reduce some of the plants. Oh, yes. Uh, basically, the, the, the issue is that the bug pretty much doubled all my trees. So I actually removed all the trees and replopped in again. After I cleaned up my computer and, and did a clean uh, install and everything, for some reason, some of these assets, uh, I don't remember what I was using here, but they got replaced with his palm trees. So I didn't really plant them, uh, plant this here. But what I did, let me show you in first person camera, is I put down some of these tall uh, pine trees over by the main avenue, which I think look great. In fact, I sort of decorated these paths. I can show you, well, I'm gonna try to show you without going way too, too fast. Uh, these paths over here. Actually looks better from from up above. And as you can see here, some of the comments uh, from the previous videos were about me not using enough, you know, variation when it comes to trees. So I pretty much uh, went ahead and added pretty much the default. I keep saying pretty much. Um, yeah, the default uh, vanilla trees 
to mix up with the with the pines and uh, I also added some bushes here as you can see as well as some other types of bushes I guess and these are like wild weed um, and for the entrances I kept this uh, nice plants right over there and if we go into the middle of the city we also have some wild pines that are just occupying space, but they look okay. And you see these super tall palm trees were not there, but they actually kind of look okay, so I might leave them. Another thing that I had to redo when it comes to trees is the university. Now the university looks like a jungle. I might clean this a little bit because it's just kind of insane. I did, uh, I replicated this uh, tall pines sort of hedge around the campus as you can see here this this is actually how it was supposed to look on the other side i don't know what the hell happened there but uh at some point i loaded the save game and just a gazillion trees were plopped there so not 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 great but uh yeah we have a bit of a uh, an empty plaza here that we can combine potentially with some uh pedestrian blocks one more thing that you might be noticing is that i changed some of the textures so you can see here, I, I'm not a huge fan of this concrete texture. It's better than the default, but uh, I darken it a little bit with Photoshop and I don't think it looks that great. It's not too bad, but I think uh, we can improve it a little bit. I think it should be a little bit brighter. And I also, as you probably noticed from here, I changed the sand texture for like a muddy sort of gravel. And it actually blends in perfectly with the default gravel from the paths. So that's uh, that's actually a, a good uh, thing. And uh, right here by the rain yard, uh, the, the rain yard, the rail yard, I pretty much filled it with uh, parked uh, wagons and cars and things, which I think look absolutely fan freaking tastic. The color that was added to this uh, area of town is actually pretty. Uh, Pretty, actually, that's the word. <laughs> so pretty pretty. Uh, one thing I noticed, and some some of you pointed out in the comments, I'm, I've been all over the place uh, when it comes to upgrading uh, or working in this uh, city. So we need some direction. And uh, I wanna get this uh, industrial area slash harbor uh, done. So it's probably gonna take a few episodes. I hope uh, you don't get bored, of, you know, just being the, the same theme and all. Uh, there's going to be a lot that needs to be done here. Uh, for one, I want to get the rail sort of to connect with this uh, station. Not This This is just a placeholder. I don't know if I'm going to keep that. It actually looks kind of cool. I might keep it or not. But uh, what I want to do is basically extend this rail yard. Uh, maybe move some of these uh, gasometers or large, large concrete tanks. Extend one of the train tracks to this area so that they connect to the cargo hubs We're also going to extend the uh, This dock over here. We're going to put the what you call it the sea walls all around this area We're going to fill it with the containers and uh, We need to maybe improve the uh, road connection to this area because I'm expecting quite a bit of traffic over here in case you didn't know uh, we have the freeway two-lane freeway on each side sort of connecting right straight into our port area, which right now we have uh, this empty space uh, that we're gonna fill with more props. Which leads me to some other, something else that I wanted to talk about, which is I've been working on my own mods. Nothing, nothing crazy, just, um, let's see, where is this? I think it's in the parks menu. And uh, they're not finished, so that's why I didn't publish them, but I, I made this mod so so that you can plop down props for the harbor. I think they look great. In fact, if, we, if you put them back to back, they actually look even nicer. Uh, they do need to be on a road, unfortunately. So let's see if I can show you real quick. I will post them uh, properly once I, I finish, once I'm happy with their results. But uh, in the meantime, you can see, just want to show you how they look. Uh, I think we need four tiles. Yeah, that's that's about right. So we're gonna bring this here and then bring over here and that way you can get a nice uh, even parking lot for, for trailers. So I absolutely forgot how to do this. So you'll have to bear with me for a few minutes as I, um, as I figure this out. So we're going to go 
probably there. Right? Yes. Maybe. And uh, I want to get the uh, basically a straight line of seawalls. And we're also going to go. Come on, you can do it. There we go. Boom. Now, I think we can bolt off this. Bring a maybe 32 meter. Actually, yeah, that's probably. That's as good as it will get. Actually, we can put two down. And then we need the out, which will take the place of that one. Like so. And then we're going to grab the 128. And right about here, we should make a decision about how this will take place. Because I think I want to keep this, uh, extend this a little bit so that it has more space for containers. Because right here, I'm going to pull down on this, uh, on the dirt to reveal the, the seawalls. But I also want to have enough space for cargo for container ships. So let me redo this. You'll notice, you'll know when it gets too crazy and boring because I would time lapse the part. <laughs> so, uh, uh -huh. level two. There we go. Can I extend this a little bit? Actually, you know what? I think I prefer not that one. Control Z. Really? You're not gonna let me control C? Cool, perfect. I have two two uh, terraforming tools that sort of override each other, which is uh, not something that I would recommend, per se. So let's just extend this this way. There we go. Maybe a few more tiles. Like so, that seems about right. I think we can go a little bit further. The water is just going to start finding the path, which is, last time that happened, pretty much my coal power plant just completely flooded, which meant that uh, basically the whole city was out without power. And one thing led to another. Yeah, you see this. Right now I have redundancy. I have power plants. We have the... the the wind farm over there and we also have the incinerators in other places so flooding here is not going to be terrible it's only going to be temporary so it's not not a big deal but it was it was kind of fun for me at least not for the viewers who were watching at that moment in time let's see where can i get 45 there we go perfect 45 these two does, don't look like they're aligned, but it's okay. At, le at least it's fortified against this this side, which is all that I want. And now we're gonna go this way, and just uh, go straight. And now let's see if we can get this to work. So we're gonna go with that, and we are gonna go with that. That seems to be pretty leveled. It's a bit of a, I mean, there are minor differences that I'm not really sure how to fix. If you know, please do let me know in the comments. Uh, but for the time being, we'll, we'll consider that good enough, especially because we don't live at this like zoom level all the time. We pretty much look uh, at the game from up above. So yeah. So now that we have that, let's just plan the interior of this a little bit. We do have uh, quite a bit of uh, a few mods that we can plop basically. So. What I wanted to do is uh, a few streets where the, um, basically where the, uh, just wanna adjust my mic, where the container ships will live. Unfortunately, I can't just plop a street wherever I want, but I can potentially do that. Let's see. This is what I'm thinking. Since we can only plop uh, or basically add connections to this street on these corners, what we're gonna do is use my mods. This is precisely what I designed them for. Just gonna grab a street, put it like that. Let's see if we can fit 
a few back-to-back -back parking lots. I also created these, which are pretty simple. Nothing too crazy. In fact, yeah, no, that's pretty simple. I, I also have another one that, uh, let me show you all the ones that I, that I made. I have this one, and I have like old versions of them. I think that's it. I made like four. So yeah, as you can see, they're like different. Uh, they have some props. They're not too too crazy. I mixed up some of the uh, the uh, parking spot lines just so that uh, you would get like a no parking sort of area here. But for the time being, I'm just gonna demolish this. Find the one that I just show you, the one with all the trucks parked together, and uh, we can do that. So now we have uh, a bit of a gap here that we can easily feel with this and uh, with that there we go cool so now that we have that we can simply let's see can we fit two back two back no we cannot so let's try to do this this is probably not going to be enough to adjust, accommodate one in the middle is it no it's not uh, this sort of limits what we can do here. Hang on, let me try something different. Let me rotate them. Something like that. Uh, let's grab a street. This is literally how they how they're laid out in real life. So I'm not I'm not in inventing anything here. Let's see if we can connect over there. That sort of glitch everything. See if we can do that. That also glitch everything. So let's just keep it like that for a moment. See if we can fit another one. Oh, that's a tight fit. That is a tight fit with the anarchy on. Let's see if I can move this. Uh, if it will look better if all these are moved over here. And uh, instead, we can just. Uh, have a street goes this way. That doesn't bother me. That doesn't bother me at all. And now we can add a few more of my custom parks. The ones with trucks probably look better. They actually look better if you rotate them and put them back to back. So let's give that a shot if I can. There we go. Cool. So you see everything, it's all like pretty like cement and, and and you know and and dirt that's what it, the harbor area actually looks like and uh, over here let's see what can we put over here i mean basically i want to fill it with a, as many containers as i possibly can so that's sort of the goal here in case you you didn't know can i fit one of the big ones not anymore okay no worries so I have this tiny, these tiny lots. I'm gonna try to avoid using super tiny things until the very end. Otherwise it will get super uh, difficult to keep track of things. I also have this, uh, let me show you, these are like free plop, ploppables that have a whole bunch of, uh, of elements. Let's see, what else do we have here? We can mix it up with a few of these uh, fixing yards or what, what are they called? Car repair yards. And uh, oh, we have the decorative. Ooh, wait, let's try it. Let's move this. Oh, I really want to put this in somewhere. Hang on, we'll find a spot for it. Just love that it takes up all the space. There we go, that's not too bad. The fact that I'm using Anarchy makes it so that I can extend it beyond the tiles. And in this case, it actually looks super ill. I also have these things. Oh, you know what, let's, let's swap them. Let's make this move over here. Oh no, I wanted to rotate the other way. 
Hmm. Hang on, I'm gonna try something. If I rack this street over here, actually just connect it over there. There we go. That way I can potentially line this that way. And now we get, oh my God, this is so epic. We get the, um, this cranes over our road. There we go. And now we have another street connecting the inner parts of our of our harbor area, of our cargo area, which we could potentially maybe do the same over here. Obviously, right now, this street will have to go. But it's good. Making making progress. So we're just going to come over the way over here and then maybe connect this to that way. Let's try to bring the cranes again. I keep clicking on the wrong menu for some reason. Let's do it like this. Fan freaking tastic. All right, so we have our harbor here. That uh, took a little bit of time, but uh, it was totally worth it. So now what I'm hoping to do is put down the seawalls all the way. Actually, we need to find a nice uh, curving point for the seawalls, which I'm guessing it would be here. Cool, so what I need to do is grab the terraforming tool I usually go down one level and then up another. That way I get the the, the same uh, height as I as I do this. So uh, right click and then left click and now I'm at the same level whilst clicking or dragging. So grab the street, go all the way over here and put down the <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, by the way, I have all these uh, train props that we can totally use for various things. Look how pretty they are. We'll we'll get to that. We're gonna do a ton of rail work. Probably not in this episode, because uh, it's been it's been a long one. But uh, we'll we'll definitely get to that. And uh, let's see, sea walls. Yeah, that's what I wanted. So I want the in corner. There we go. And I want two of the actual seawalls. And right over here, I don't know exactly how I'm going to basically integrate this with the rest of the city. So for now, I'm just going to leave it like this. And uh, we'll take care of that uh, in due time. So next thing would be to do the same thing go down one level and then go up. And while holding the left click, I'm just dragging around the edges of our cargo harbor all the way over there. Now the water will take a, a few seconds for the water to accommodate and go back uh, into location, into, their, into the final location. Let's uh, take a look. And uh, as I said before, I wanted to get some uh, 
some sand here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna basically paint this whole area with this new sand texture. Like so, there we go. So now it's all more more industrial. And um I keep hitting my mic, unfortunately. Sorry about that. Uh, let's do the same over here. I don't know what happened here. I think I was trying to fix something, but uh, I failed miserably. There we go. It doesn't matter if it, if it doesn't look absolutely perfect. I wish I could make it perfect, but it just it would take so much time. Uh, and honestly, the final result won't won't be as impressive. But I mean, take a look at this. Let's actually go into the first person. I mean, you can barely see the difference here. It's it's almost flush against the compared to the street, so uh, I think I'm okay with it. I hope I hope you guys are, are too. Whoa, just went down. But this these cranes over the street, they actually look amazing. This is our brand new wing of the carbo uh, cargo carbo area. Uh, let's just demolish this real quick. I want I want to extend the um, these. Uh, this thing's a bit further in, that way we can hopefully fit a few more. Most likely these streets will be converted into four lanes. Well, we'll mm, yeah, I want to I wanna do that. Hang on. Let's see. Uh, let's find out. Uh, right now this is, uh, what is this? Oh, crap. I don't even know. Um, it's three... Six, eight, right about here, I think. That way we can fit two of these uh, container yards back to back. Just one more tile. There we go. Not so much. Let's try it using that as a reference. Like so. And hopefully that works. Fantastic. Okay, uh, I want to see if I can just squeeze one in over on this side. Actually, I can because I have the rail. Hmm, that is going to be interesting. We do need to connect the rail somehow. Let's see. Let's uh, grab rail. We're probably not going to finish this right now, but I I do want to get the starting point for it. So let's just go right about here. So nine units. And let's go A units by A units. I want to hold. There we go. By holding control, you get the snapping angles. And maybe here I could just go under in a tunnel. I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of tunnels. Um, it's always a good idea to remove the trees before you build things. Just because the trees actually exist underground, even if you uh, basically do things over them. Uh, if you build things over them, it's not like they disappear. They still count as trees for the game, so... Not something that you should do, like, every for everything you do, but it's always a good idea to clean up before, before you build. So, let's see. Here... It's going to be a bit tricky. Let's try to find a spot for this to spring this up. I want to use this as a reference point. We can even have another truck here. I definitely want to get a street connecting through all this. Uh, that didn't really connect. because I have segments turned off. Let's try that again. Wow, uh, that completely messed up everything. Uh, you have to be careful with Road Anarchy. It's not a straightforward mod. It could totally ruin your, your city. So yeah, just be careful with it. So, okay, cool. I want to get the Red lines just extended, maybe up to there. That's totally, totally fine. Uh, please don't snap. Thank you. 
And uh, let's grab the road tool again. Have a few connections over here. Connections over there. There we go. All right. So let's uh, let's create some connections in between these uh, between this rail line. So I'm going to turn anarchy on. I've been using six units for this. So just as a reference, uh, we need to turn bending off. Oh, there's an update for Photoshop. That's awesome. Right in the middle of the recording. How nice of you. And uh, over here, maybe, come on. It's not gonna let me do any less than six units. Oh, there you go. Just need to turn snapping off. All right, so we have uh, our switch here. We can uh, create or extend this uh, lines a bit further in because why not, right? We're gonna fill it with the containers. Actually, I, I want them to end here to be completely honest with you. The reason why is because I wanna try to fit more containers. And obviously, this, these two will be the main roads, uh, the main access roads. So we're gonna go like this. We're gonna, all right, we're gonna keep this road over here, like so. And we're going to extend our rail over here and over there. Now that the right uh, height, I'll, I'll fix that. But here actually i want to see if, if it's at all possible to go down like so is this connected it looks connected i'll consider that be being connected Cool. So let's grab that. As I said many times, I'm not a huge fan of like building crazy tunnels all over the place. Eight units by eight units. And now let's just go straight. Just a snapping all over the place. Come on. There we go. Perfect. All right. So that's connected. We have a rail, yard, uh, a rail line going under underground which is pretty good. This uh, whole area is probably gonna require an overpass just because it will be, uh, I, need to, I need to branch out over to this side and then have a line that connects them uh, this way. So this will probably have to go. And we should replace that with a uh, uh, nice looking overpass. In fact, I'm not sure if we should Fit. Yeah, this avenue is just going all together. Now I'm rewriting all the traffic. This avenue should basically go up and uh, sort of connect over here. But now, but I want to have more container yards. I'm so confused. We have we have limited space here, but I wanna I wanna try to maximize uh, the potential. See if we can, yeah, we can do crazy things like this. So what I'm thinking is the following. I wanna get a road over here, clear this, clear that, and then use maybe three lane one ways. Yeah, this sounds good. Actually four lane one ways, three lanes, cause we have six, lanes coming out of this uh, intersection. So this is what I'm thinking. We're gonna go something like this, like that, but uh, at a higher level. Yeah, that way we can go over the train tracks. Let's see, let's, let's do a, a few tests here because this could totally not work. Go up by 12 meters, I think should be good enough for rail, maybe.
these two are sort of defying gravity, but we can easily fix that with uh, some pillars. I can just throw this in. Oh, this is too short. Uh, I do have some pillars somewhere here. Hang on. Um, I don't know exactly what they are, but I mean, we can just throw in some things like this. Not necessarily trains, but you get my point. I mean, inside of the, um, uh, I might not have the mod enabled, but I, I do have some pillars that we can use. This is probably too small. We'll work on that. Yeah, we'll work on that because right now I don't have enough. Uh, I don't have the one that will fit that, but uh, I think that's a that's a good uh, good enough progress for now. Uh, let's just finish uh, by adding the thing that we bulldoze, and hopefully we can get another street to go underneath the freeway. Let's see. Pish down, not so much. Just want straight. There we go. And just go all the way over here. And you don't like it for some reason. Why don't you like it? You like it up to here. So here it's okay. Here, oh, because of this thing. How is, how is that possible? Hang on, let's, let's try that again. So we're gonna do that. Plop down this and this. Hopefully that will give us enough uh, Clearance for this and for that. There we go. Fantastic. And that way we can also squeeze in another one of these over here. And another one over there. My only concern is that they look a little bit repetitive. So maybe just uh, to break the, the grid a bit, we can just uh, throw in some parking lots. Let's go to the park. Let's see if we can squeeze in. How does this look? This looks a bit dirty, so. I mean, it could work. Let's just uh, mix it up a bit. So we will have that. We will have that. And then just uh, mix it up with actual parking lots. Uh, let's see, how do I make it so that it's oriented back to back? Definitely not that wall, that, that street, sorry. There we go. Cool, and then let's just throw in some empty parking lots. All right, that's much, much better. Cool, so let's just extend this here. And then we'll figure out the details, uh, the rest of the details, because there's so much that still needs to be done here. Let me just go into uh, camera mode. Let's just start the simulation. But uh, this is uh, this is looking uh, promising. It's definitely this now has a ton of detail, which is something that I really uh, really like and look forward to. We have a, another railer here. In fact, I think I even saw a train using this. So that's also pretty exciting. Right here, we have a, a parking uh, facility, which also probably makes it up a bit so that it doesn't look too repetitive. But again, if you look at them from Google Maps, like actual views from Google Maps from harbors around the world, you'll see that this these areas pretty much all look alike. So yeah. But uh, I think uh, I think that's uh, that's all for now. Yeah, if you enjoyed this episode, please do give it a rating. That's very much appreciated. And also, please do not forget to subscribe if you haven't already. In the next couple of episodes, we're going to be still working on this area. I need to fix the orientation of this road. I haven't forgotten. But um, 
uh, we're gonna need we're gonna start up, uh, add, actually adding some some industry uh, the same way we have a over here we're just gonna have you know like not not like a whole area zoned as industry but just like individual factories surrounded by parking lots which is usually how uh, an actual industrial area looks like in real life so I'm gonna try to uh, be or make it look as realistic as possible so for the timing I want to thank you for watching and hope to see you in the next one <laughs>